So I asked you all for some questions and you answered or questioned, I guess I should say. And it shouldn't surprise me, but they were all big questions. No one wanted to know what my favorite book was. How did you get into sculpting, filmmaking, art, everything? Let's pretend for a moment there's a straightforward path from wanting to be an artist to actually becoming one. And let's say the idealized version of that path looks like this. Well, my path is a little bit more like this. I've always loved creating fantastical worlds in my head, uh, pretending that I was a Jedi in a galaxy far, far away, disassembling action figures like Sid from Toy Story. But the moment that I wanted to try and make props and costumes for a living, was weirdly Halo. In 2007, there was a short film called Halo Landfall, which was a live action trailer to advertise the series. And I had an unhealthy obsession with Halo at that time. But that trailer was the connection that I needed. That was the moment that I realized that people have to make the things that I see in movies and TV shows, there are people out there making props and costumes and everything else in between. And more importantly, they're getting paid to do that. That is their job. And once I made that connection, I knew that no matter what it takes, one day I would become an artist. And so I went to university where I quickly found out I could not afford art supplies for an intro Class. I had every adult I ever met telling me I needed to get a real degree. I discovered the hard way there was no easy or direct path to get into the film industry and got ground down by the crucible that is higher education and corpo life until I just forgot that I wanted to make art. Don't worry, it gets better from here. The upshot of being a nerd is that I have replaced every bit of useful knowledge in my brain with obscure film and television references. But if it wasn't for that, then this next part would have never happened. How did you work for Weta Workshop? Having completely forgot any ambitions of becoming an artist, I was imported to New Zealand years later by my lovely Kiwi partner, where through a series of increasingly strange events, I found myself applying for the position of tour guide at a film company. Now, I was confident in my nerd knowledge, but I knew that there would be a lot of other people applying for the same job. Well over a thousand people, as I later found out. So once again, thanks to my clever partner, we wrote a cover letter that would help me stand out amongst the crowd. Now, I've lost the original file, but it went something like this. To the tourism team at Weta Workshop, I'm gonna be real with you. While I can hang with the best of the fantasy nerds and know every reference from the One Ring to the Immortal Figwit, Lord of the Rings just isn't my thing. Trust me when I say that this was a gamble and it will not work again. But I got the job, I took the tour, and then I saw it in person with my very own eyes. The Warthog from Halo Landfall and some other costumes and props from it as well, because Weta had in fact worked on that short film all those years ago. And suddenly all these memories came flooding back. My head was swimming with ideas. I was making props again for fun in my spare time. I even started playing around with making my own cosplays. I was in an environment where I was surrounded by artists and nerds and people who wanted to foster my creativity. But all of that came to a head when I met Kim. This is Kim, master sculptor, the real mother of dragons, and an amazing human being. For no payment, reward, or praise of any kind, Kim teaches people how to sculpt just out of the kindness of her heart and for the love of it. If it wasn't for her generosity, I don't think I would have found my passion for sculpting and sharing my knowledge with others. I also wouldn't have been able to make things like floating islands or 
fantasy dinosaur skulls. But anyway, the tourism team started sculpting classes. I got to teach some of them. And after many years of practice, hundreds of kilos of clay, thousands of meters of foil, we are here now. Sort of. Why did you start making YouTube videos? 2020. No need to say more on that. Everyone's stuck inside, can't go anywhere, can't teach classes, I'm losing my mind. And then, a suggestion. And then, I was off again. I made a shoddy plywood desk using scrap materials that I found, made the jankiest rig ever to hold my phone up as my camera, and I made my first video. Hey there. Today I'm gonna to show you how I made this gelatinous cube and also how you can plus it into something that I call a viscid. I didn't have a plan, I didn't have any lights, and I certainly didn't know what I was doing, but then I made another video. Except that time, I asked some of my friends and colleagues for advice on how to improve the sound. And then I made another video. Then that next time, I started watching tutorials on different editing software and tricks that I could use to improve the production of my video. And then I made another video. And soon after a few videos, I made new friends on YouTube who were also discovering how to make their own videos. And together, we made another video. And then I kept trying new things for three years. And now a hundred videos later, here I am making another video. What do you want to do next year? Well, actually, I thought this might be my last video, you know, made a hundred of them, nice round, even number, just shut the whole thing down after this. Just kidding. I've got in-person sculpting classes that you can come and attend if you like. I'm gonna be making way more props, miniatures, and terrain with my friends. I'm gonna visit twice as many countries with my wonderful partner. And I've got a new show in the works that I'm really, really excited for. If you wanna stay in the loop and keep an eye on what's next for Conjured Craft, please be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna make sure that the channel keeps going, please consider supporting me on Patreon. As always, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.